Millions of Americans deal with a mental health issue every year. Many of them go untreated because they don't know where to turn. Tonight, 15 Finds Out reporter Alyssa Ivinson discovers new efforts in Allen County to connect people to care. A mental illness is actually quite common. One in five adults will experience some kind of mental health issue this year. One in 25 lives with a serious mental illness like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or major depression. But stigma and confusing health care systems are keeping a lot of people from the care they need. The loneliness and isolation. Suffering in silence. Many people with a mental illness have no diagnosis and aren't getting the treatment that can bring them back from the darkness. The average diagnosis of a mental illness takes eight years. It, we can't go on like that. There's a lot of stigma. We have a unique opportunity here in our community to change that conversation. That's the mission of the Mental Health Messaging Group, a collaboration of the Lutheran Foundation, the VA, and Parkview Behavioral Health. How do we talk about the importance of mental wellness, emotional wellness, just like we talk about cancer or diabetes, or I had a broken hand, my broken hand, that's the dialogue we have to get to. Getting there won't be easy. The stigma of mental illness still stops a lot of people from seeking treatment. And I've had people tell me that I'd re I would rather have my doctor diagnose me with a torn ligament, even a melanoma, versus telling me I have a bipolar disorder. Because you can't see it. I, you can see a torn ligament or a broken leg. You can't see you can't see schizophrenia. There's a lot of uh, misbeliefs in regards to mental health, that it's someone's choice or their behavior, that it is a physical brain dysfunction. We've got a lot of work to do when it comes to acknowledging that mental health is just like any other medical illness. Part of undoing the stigma is making it okay to talk about and changing the language. You're not schizophrenic, you have schizophrenia. We don't call someone with brain cancer canceric. And we you got a brain cancer, so we you know want to destigmatize it as much as we can. We're all affected by it, and we need to be better at understanding it and and accepting it as a normal course of our life. Mental health care experts tell 15 finds out the problem is twofold. Not only are patients combating the stigma, they're facing a fragmented health care system. We kind of talk about it um, being in silos and we have, we have wonderful resources in our community, and so it's just knowing how to access those resources. That's where a new navigation website comes in. It wasn't clear about who was providing what and who should refer to, to where and all those kinds of things, and so we decided that we were going to dedicate um, time and energy, and that would be our first step. Look Up Indiana is still being developed, but it will be one place for people to turn, an easy way for them to find all the agencies available and what services they offer. Oftentimes people just don't know where to turn for that next step in the process. Ultimately, better access to care and squashing the stigma can lead to saving lives. It's estimated every day 86 people in America commit suicide. I don't think it'll save all of them, but I think it would, if everybody had a general awareness uh, because a lot of times there are statements before the person ends their life that people think, oh, that was a weird statement. Most people don't know you can ask about suicide. Talking about it does not make it worse. So starting to talk about it and getting them connected to resources is key. Um, and so I think that conversation, if we can really start talking as families, that it's something that's okay to talk about and not something that we hide from everyone else. There is hope. And just because someone is struggling with something that around the mental health or addiction realm, that they don't need to suffer in silence and that there is hope and we can help them get to the, to the level of the life that they um, should be living and deserve to live, each and every one of us. LookupIndiana.org is expected to be up and running early next year. We will continue to follow up with the task force as all of that is being developed. Now, in the meantime, we've posted links to dozens of resources to help people get mental health treatment. That's all on the 15 Finds Out page on Wayne.com. Just look for these stories there. Okay, thank you, Alyssa.